African Union envoy seeks international support for Somalia army. The head of the African Union mission in Somalia has called for international support for Somali government forces who are battling the Al-Shabaab militant group on multiple fronts in the country. Mohamed El Amine Soif says the Somali army needs not just training but weapons, equipment and skills for the officers and lifting the arms embargo so that the country can buy weapons. In an interview Soif said, Somalia has a young force and there is a responsibility on the international community to support not only force generation but also weapons and ammunition and skills. He said, you saw what happened in the Israel. The issue between Hamas and Israel immediately, their partners, including the United States, they immediately took decisions to support Israel in terms of weapons and ammunition, he said, citing the Israel Hamas war, which triggered the US sending emergency militant aid within a matter of days. I think the Somalis are now struggling with embargo. The embargo should be lifted. So I've said some of the countries that sent troops to Somalia have agreed they will donate equipment, vehicles and guns to the Somali army when they withdraw by December next year. He confirmed that the African Union Peace and Security Council has approved Somalia's request for a three-month pause of the withdrawal of 3,000 peacekeepers. It has been delayed officially for three months. Asked if the Somali government is underestimating the magnitude of their task in taking over responsibilities from the AU and fighting al -Shabaab. so we have said there is a political will in Somalia to take over security responsibilities from the African Union transition mission in Somalia. The most important, the political will will be there and then the Somalis don't want to be assisted forever. They want to take their ownership. They are working very hard. On Wednesday, a senior Somali government official welcomed the pause of the troops drawdown by a but expressed confidence the government will have enough troops in the coming months to resume responsibilities. Kamal Dahir Hassan Gutari, National Security Advisor to Prime Minister Hamza Abdilbari, said the government has trained 9,700 soldiers since taking office in May 2022 and had an additional 3,000 troops trained in Eritrea. Liberian police say they have arrested eight people for tampering with ballot boxes in the vote-rich northwestern county of Nimba, home of long-term Senator Prince Johnson and the vice presidential candidate of the main opposition unity party. Meanwhile, the latest provisional results released over the weekend show President George Weir with a slim lead over main challenger Joseph Boakai, Inspector General of Police, Colonel Patrick Sudu tells me the missing ballot boxes were for the legislative vote, not the presidential ballot. The situation in Nima County uh, happens when uh, some thoughts went out the county center and forcibly entered and took away a ballot box. It's somewhere in District 4, very, very far from San Nicole. So uh, we sent a reinforcement there and they were able to arrest eight persons, and uh, the issue has been reported to NEC. So these eight persons, are they affiliated with any political party? I don't know what, which party, but I know they're affiliated with uh, Representative Kennedy. I don't know from which party, because we are not investigating these folks on party basis. We are investigating them for breaking the law. Something like what happened in Niba, did it happen anywhere else, according to your recollection? No, 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 no. It's one of the absolute uh, uh, cases that happened in Lima County. And the folks took advantage of the proximity of the area because where we are talking about, it takes you hours to get there by motor vehicle. It's a distant area. It's not even too far from the border. It's very, very far. So they use that, looking at the strength of the officers that were there. They possibly entered and took the ballot by ran away. But when our, our officers were very smart, they started to record what's well. So the reinforcement guard there was east of the base on the rest. You said the area is closer to the border. You mean the border with Ivory Coast? 
Yeah, the place is not far. It's District 4. It's not far from the border area. But however, everything that is under control, the county process is ongoing. Because what we're doing on the next announcement, the National Election Commission, they said the, the box that was taken away, it was the box for the representative candidates, not the presidential candidates. So the presidential candidates' boxes are intact. So, Inspector General, how would you describe uh, your election security readiness? Well, we we are up to the tax. I think the election went on Tuesday, the 10th of October. It was very peaceful. We are still on Tuesday for the electoral warehouses, the county center, and all of the commissioners. So, I mean, the Labrador National Police is doing well, and we are making sure to maintain the peace. Inspector General, thank you so much. A pleasure to speak with you. You are welcome, sir. Country Patrick Sudu is the Inspector General of the Liberian National Police. He was speaking with us from the Liberian capital, Monrovia. As partial results from Liberia's October 10 elections continue to trickle in, Senator Prince Johnson, who is running for the third nine-year term, says peace in Liberia rests on the management of the election results. Johnson backed George Weah in 2017 elections, but this year he is supporting former Vice President Joseph Boakai, the presidential candidate for main opposition unity party. Johnson called VOA over the weekend to say he is distressed by an election-related incident that he said took place in the northwestern Nimba County, capital of Sunny Quilly. Johnson tells me that this is where what he calls thugs from the ruling Coalition for Democratic Change, the CDC, came to disrupt the vote counting process. After the elections, a few days ago, the results, the ballot boxes were hauled to San Nicoli Net Official Office. Unfortunately, uh, one regional man who is a former county inspector and one Gompo Kago who serve as representative but is expected to be put out to the vote. And uh, one Gabberson Yellow, who was appointed by Mr. Weir as a good governance commission chairperson and national deputy chair for the campaign. They went this morning with talks to the net office and threatened everyone there to beat them up and to destroy the ballot. With the intervention of us all informing the police, they were able to run away. This evening, they are all back again. They brought trucks, they gave them king juice to green, and other hard liquor and other substances, and they are ready to them. So we called the justice minister and called the police IG. Of course, this morning, there was no protection. The state police there got no arms. The boys who came to disturb the overpower the police. So currently, the networkers have closed the net office. They have stopped the county because their lives are in danger. Did you say you called the police, and what did the police do? We called the police this morning, the police IG, he promised to send people, though they already have six police assigned there before, before now, but they have no tear gas, no pepper spray or uh, arms. So those people would get power there and they were right there. I mean, they couldn't do anything. And this evening they came back in huge number. What is the policy? I mean, and did you also inform the elections commission? The election commission workers, I guess, have informed the headquarters. And the, I'm sure the police were also informed. But they said that the police already been assigned there. There was no need to send additional. But with a, with a serious matter unveiling right now, the police actually have promised to send more police with senior officers to make sure that area is guarded. Because I told them, the peace of pieces of this country depend on the results. If Mr. Weir went fairly, I will salute him. The people of Liberia will hear him. But to destroy the tabulation center, the net office, completely elude him. If I destroy the vote, it will not be in the interest of peace. That's not good for him. So they promised to send more police. The Minister of Justice also was contacted this evening. He promised to deal with the issue. But it's good for the world to know and Liberia to know. That's what I call you. And uh, tell me, Senator, uh, how do you think you are doing with the results that have been announced so far? Well, you know, for me, the people of Nimba overwhelmingly voted. It's not strange to me. You know, they love me so dearly. And uh, they know in the past, uh, we lay our life back for them. They will never forget. Even when God invites us to glory, they will put flowers to my grave on my grave. And so they love me. 
I'm going to win with the highest for the one that I've been announced so far. I'm in the lead, and no one is equal to where I am right now.